Hi, this is Lara at Elliott Wave Stock Market with your daily analysis for the S&P 500 for the trading session dated Wednesday 26th of September. I'm recording this video 8.30 in the evening New York time on the 26th. I have quite a few charts to get through today so I'll get through them briefly. This is our first daily wave count which still has about an even probability with our second. For this first chart I'm seeing wave 3 blue as extended and within it wave 3 pink extended. At 1508 wave 5 green if it's begun here will reach equality in length with wave 1 green. Wave 4 green doesn't have much more room to the downside that it can move into. If it does move any lower it can't move into wave 1 green price territory. This wave count is invalidated with movement below 1426.68. We have an overshoot on this fourth wave of this parallel channel. That's okay, fourth waves sometimes do that, and it may indicate an upcoming overshoot on the opposite side of the channel for the fifth wave. Draw the channel from 1 to 3, place a copy on the low of 2. This wave count, this interpretation of this piece of upwards movement, is expecting two larger fourth wave corrections on the way up, before price moves to a new all-time high. Alternatively, if price does move below 1426.68 in the next day or so, then this is the interpretation I would use. This sees wave 3 blue as a complete impulse here, with no Fibonacci ratio to wave 1, and the downwards movement still is a fourth wave, but 2 degrees higher. Wave 4 blue can't move into wave 1 blue price territory. This wave count is invalidated with movement below 1380.39. For this one, if 4 blue is over here, and again it does look pretty likely that it would be over on the hourly 5 minute and 1 minute charts, then this may be where 5 blue begins. At 1607, wave C black in its entirety would reach equality in length with A black. Seven points above that, at 1614, wave 5 blue would reach 1.618 the length of 1 blue. Draw this channel again from 1 to 3, place a copy on the low of 2. We have a tiny overshoot for the fourth wave, and this may be where downwards movement finds support. Let's have a look at this correction on the hourly chart where this high for 3 blue up here is this point up here. So this hourly chart follows on from the first main daily wave count. If 4 green or blue is a double zigzag then it's most likely now that it is finally over. The key is looking at this piece of upwards movement. On the 5 and particularly the 1 minute chart I've had a careful look of this upwards wave here and it subdivides most easily as a five wave impulse. If the downwards trend is over then we should be seeing fives to the upside and threes to the downside. So this looks, look a f looks like a five and this looks like a three. If price moves above 1452.06 the slow here we may have a bit more confidence that we are in a new uptrend. The target for 3 pink for the next wave up at 1508, 5 green will reach equality in length with 1 green. Alternatively, it still remains possible that 4 green is a single zigzag, but the subdivisions for this one and this piece of movement here don't fit quite as well. If it is a single zigzag, C orange needs to subdivide as a 5 and we need a final fifth wave down. Again, this piece of movement here doesn't fit nearly as well as a three, so this wave count has a lower probability. If we do see a bit more downwards movement though, five purple would reach 0.618, the length of one purple at 1430, taking price very, very slightly below the end of this point here, the third wave, to avoid a truncation and after that we'd expect the next upwards wave. For this one the target would then be a bit higher at 1518, 3 pink would reach 2.618 the length of 1 pink and when we can be more certain where 4 green has ended I'll refine this target. 
Here's our second daily wave count, which is still expecting a big double combination or double flat, and possibly still more upwards movement for primary B before we see primary C down. The target in the short term for this interpretation is exactly the same, 1508, but for this one we only need one fourth wave correction. Eventually movement below 1380.39 would confirm a big trend change. Alternatively, if we look at this piece of movement differently, and we've seen this wave count before, it is still possible that we may have had a trend change up here, but we have absolutely no confirmation of it at all. We won't get it until we have at least a channel breach of this channel on the daily chart, and when we see movement below 1380.39, that second daily chart that I showed you earlier will be invalid. That will provide some pretty strong confirmation of a sizable trend change. What's most likely is that downwards movement was a fourth wave correction, probably a double zigzag, probably over, and we're in the next upwards wave. The only question is, what degree of wave we're looking at? Is it an extended third wave, or is that third wave at blue degree over? That's all for me today with your S&P analysis, and I hope that members are having a fabulous day.